Small island developing states are usually very vulnerable to oil price movements and energy shocks. And therefore, I'm standing here leading a small island developing state, making the commitment to have my country energy secure by using renewables, in particular solar and wind. We emit negligible greenhouse gases, but when the impact comes, we are most impacted. The Prime Minister believes in what we are doing, believes that renewable energy has a role and a place in the Jamaica energy mix. commitment has been made for transformation at the office of the Prime Minister. The current policy of the government of Jamaica is that 30% of our electricity should be generated by renewables by the year 2030. I believe we can do better. So I have directed the government to increase our target from 30% to 50%. That we do have to look at our indigenous sources, uh, the wind, the sun. It shows good leadership for the office of the Prime Minister to be um, outfitted with solar panels which will reduce their consumption. My team from Envisage Future Energy Limited are excited to be working at the office of the Prime Minister. We are installing Solaria photovoltaic panels and Enphase microinverters. Solar Head of State is an NGO that works internationally with um, countries around the world that are already embracing renewable energy. And Solar Head Estate has previously worked in St. Lucia and the Maldives to do solar installations on prominent government buildings. Island countries like Jamaica, across the Caribbean, Pacific and Indian Oceans are really embracing renewables as part of their uh, wide efforts to decarbonize their economies. So this year we ran the Jamaica Solar Challenge in partnership with uh, local youth groups which invited young people from across Jamaica to create uh, innovative communications projects to tell their communities about the benefits of renewable energy. We are building the resilience of the country. We have to transform a number of our, our production processes and the only way to do that is with renewables. It takes leadership. It takes the leaders of the country to bring this awareness to their people. And now we're moving to ensure that renewables play an even greater part in our energy mix.